Welcome back guys, this is Where You At Bro, here to bring to you a fantastic workout. And today, we're working out back, shoulders, and arms. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. That didn't amp me up. But anyway, like I said before in the beginning of this, we're hitting back, shoulders, and arms. I'm excited because those are muscles that I really like to do anyway. So for our first exercise, or should I say for our tricep, what we're doing is bent over row underhand, then we're doing two arm bent over rows with the dumbbells, and then we're doing chin ups, which is a new one for us. So, other than that, let's go ahead and hit them weights so we can get these gains. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So let's go. All right, bent over rows, but underhand. Underhand meaning front palm facing up towards the ceiling, guys. Not down, but up. You want to get your feet shoulder width apart. You want to keep your core tight, and then you want to bring the bar to your stomach more so towards your belly button. That's the only where I hit it at. So, let's get down, bend over, arc in the back. If you need to, guys, make sure you have your back support for this. Um, now, abs are tight, flex that back muscle, and let's go. For the dumbbell two arm bent over row with the dumbbells. Pretty much like doing bent over rows with the barbell, but you have uh, dumbbells when you're doing it. So bend over, shoulder width apart, core tight, and you want to make sure you're flexing your back. Make sure, guys, you're feeling this in your back. Don't let it be a tricep or a different muscle group uh, workout, but let your back work it out. Slow the pace down if you need be. Increase the weight if you're not feeling it. So, here we go. chin-ups the difference between this and pull-ups is your hands are facing you your palms are facing you so palms facing you when you're doing this now I won't necessarily be able to do this really good because my hands should be a little bit closer in but because of how my pull-up bar is it's gonna make it difficult so I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have. That's all we can do, guys, That's all we can do. So make sure, guys, you engage your back. Keep your abs tight. And you're gonna be using some of your biceps while you're doing this because of the direction of your palms will cause for you to also engage your, uh, your biceps. But mostly this is a back workout. So here we go.
good. Now we're moving on to the next tricep. In this one, we're doing cable row, then we're doing close grip cable row, then we're doing face pull, which is a new one again for us. So I want you to check this one out, look at the cues, check the description out, and let's make sure we hit these things correctly, all right? Let's go. All right guys, face pull. Fantastic back workout um, from what I've read and what I've seen. Now, position. You wanna keep your feet square up so that, the, um, so that you have an equal um, force of pull. You know, um, you don't wanna have one leg in front of the other or anything like that. Have your feet square up, it's more athletic doing it that way. And then have your elbows up up and then you want to pull the weight back behind you that way you're hitting your rear desk and hitting your back so back behind you and that's how you do it all right so let's keep on going All right, guys, so we're moving on to our final tricep. And what we're doing is standing dumbbell curls, hammer curls, and last but not least, preacher curls. And I think I'm gonna be doing the preacher curls with the bands, just to mix it up a little bit. Cause hey, like I told you before, I'm loving these bands. They're doing wonders for me. So let me go ahead and incorporate that in my whole workout program. So again, we're doing dumbbell curls, hammer curls, and preacher curls with the bands. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. All right, dumbbell curls. So, look this bunch good. There's a few ways you can do this. You can do them both together. You can do them simultaneously. You know, um, so I prefer to um, have the dumbbell facing upwards, palm facing forward, and like to rock them out together. So I'm gonna keep my core tight, feet shoulder width apart, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to flex my um, boss up right now and bring the weight as far up as possible. All right, so let's go.
Because last time we spoke, I didn't understand what we were saying because we both were talking at the same time. So let me start my first and you go after that, okay? All right, guys. So for dumbbell hammer curl, which hammer is pretty much facing this direction. And again, you can do this one arm at a time or you can go ahead and rock them out together. Now, I, for time's sake, like to do both of them together. So again, feet and shoulders apart, core tight, um, make sure the tempo is nice and steady and you're not going to the fall here. You could go slow just to advance the uh, detail of you're doing it, but try to be more tight as far as you're doing it and keep your eyes closed to the other side as much as possible. Try not to have any rock in here. Alright, so let's go. 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 We did it. We are done for the day. Now, if you liked what you saw, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Also, leave me a comment down below. Share the video with somebody that you know, guys. Share the love with somebody else. If you need more information, make sure you check the description now. And guys, you can also follow me on different platforms like on Instagram, Facebook, and other ones that I may have somewhere down below. So make sure, guys, you hit that like button. Support your boy, yeah. And as well, 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 this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you in the next workout.